How's everyone doing? It's your boy, Big D, bringing you another video. So Michael Vick has announced his retirement today. Former quarterback of the Eagles, though he was mostly famous for being with the Falcons. Dude was fucking incredible. He was a goddamn hog. He's capped off. He's capped off a long career. I believe he's been in a 16-year career. He didn't play all season this season. And he finally decides to just hang up his cleats. In my honest opinion, I think he should have retired a couple years ago. Now, he was mostly known for the Atlanta Falcons. In 2000, he played in the BCS championship game in college with the Florida State Seminoles. And then the Falcons traded with the San Diego Chargers to move up to the fourth pick. And they took Michael Vick, and the Chargers took LT, LaDainian Tomlinson. And Michael Vick had... he Dude was fun to watch. As far as a quarterback is concerned, he wasn't clutch. He wasn't exactly clutch. He didn't win championships. He doesn't have a Super Bowl to his name, but the dude was a terrific athlete. And will go down in history as one of the most athletic quarterbacks behind the likes of Randall Cunningham, Fran Tarkenton, and Bobby Douglas. Now, I'm looking at his statistics here. He had he's play he's played 143 games, 143 regular season games, plus six playoff games. Appearances. He's played in a 147 games total. Started 114. He had. He had 3,217 yards. 1,807 completions. Had a 56 percent completion percentage. Total passing yards was 22,000. Was over 22,000. 22,464 yard average was 7, 133 touchdowns, 88 interceptions, and an 80.4 quarterback rating. His rushing, he had he had 873 rushing attempts. When I talk when we let's talk about his rushing for a second before I go into statistics. This dude, he was so athletic. He would extend plays with his feet. And I mean, he would duck under defenders the way Randall Cunningham did during his days as an Eagle. Mainly because both didn't even have good receivers. I mean, Randall Cunningham, his receiver, he had a couple good receivers like Mike Quick, Keith Jackson, Andrew Barnett. Still better than the sorry ass wide receiving core the Eagles have now. <laughs> That's for goddamn sure. But Michael Vick, his best receivers were guys like Peerless Price, Malcolm Jenkins, Brian Finneran, and Algie Crumpler. That's not too bad. And his rushing, he had 873 rushing attempts, 6,109 yards. He rushed seven, 7 yards a play. He would rush seven yards in attempt. And he has 36 touchdowns. Pretty good. His passer rating in the playoffs is 91.8. And he averaged nine yards. Hmm. Now... The, when he was with the Eagles, he had very talented receivers. He had Deshaun Jackson, Jeremy Macklin, Brent Selleck, Jason Avant. Well, Jason Avant wasn't the most talented receiver, but he was definitely he was definitely good. Let's be honest. Every wide receiver Michael, every wide receiver Michael Vick had 
is better than the sorry trash we have now. In 2006, he rushed for over 1,000 yards, the first quarterback to do so. When he came back in Philly, after his stint with the Falcons, he was set to make over $100 million. He was one of the highest paid players in the NFL. And then we pretty much know what happened there. He got involved with drugs, dog fighting, landed him, landed him two years in jail, came out. Tony Dungy was his was his life coach or something, was his mentor when he came back. McNabb lobbied for to land him here. And he mainly was a backup and occasionally came in on on really really bizarre ass plays. Sometimes he would be throwing instead of McNabb. He got his tu- he got his first tu- and only touchdown against his former team. 2010 was when he had his best season yet. He had, he compete he had 12 games. He had 300 yards, 21 touchdowns, only six interceptions, 100.2 passer rating. He almost got double digit rushing touchdowns as a quarterback. Only Cordell Stewart has done that, but I think he played wide receiver as well. In my honest opinion. He should have fucking got MVP that year, but oh no, they had to give it to overprotected ass Brady. What else is new? I mean, it was our great season. We finished ten to six. We had the best offense in the league. We had the fur. We won the division. Lost in the wild card to the Green Bay Packers. What the fuck else is new? I mean, he had he had two he had an okay season in two thousand eleven. He had more yards, but was way far more mistake prone. And in two thousand twelve, two thousand twelve, he was he started falling off. It was mainly it was mainly because of the goddamn play calling. And in two thousand thirteen, he got injured. He was benched in favor of Nick Foles, who had it. And that was the end of his Philly career. I mean, we, we practically traded him for sorry ass Mark Sanchez. I mean, technically, we what we actually did was we cut him. Jets cut Sanchez. We signed Sanchez. They signed Vic. It was basically a trade. He had one. He had two uneventful ten years with both the Jets and the Steelers before hanging it up. All I gotta say is Michael Vic. Not one of my favorite Eagle players of all time, but one of the funnest players to watch. Funny. There was this girl that I was low-key fucking with, that I was hanging out with, that I... She fucking despised Michael Vick because of everything. I remember she once said that if he ever, that if she ever saw him in person, she would spit in his face. That's fucked up, man. All some grimy shit. She's a stupid, dumb bitch any goddamn way. Doesn't even know doesn't even know what she wants in life. But that's not important. That's kinda of, I'm kinda of going off topic. Anyway, Michael Vick, I salute you. One of the greatest players of the twenty first century. Not the greatest quarterbacks, but one of the best athletes. You were one hell of a player. I wish you the best of luck in your post football career. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what your favorite Michael Vick moment was. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Later.